Saluton. I'm Brandon Sowers, or Brandono. I'm really excited to be running for president of Esperanto USA. I uh, believe that we have a lot of potential to have a really active Esperanto movement in the U.S. And I'm excited to be able to work with all of you in that direction over the next couple of years. Uh, so a bit about me, I've been an active Esperantist since 2003 and a member of Esperanto USA since 2005. My first Land de Congreso was in 2006 in New York City, and my last one was in Montreal last summer. I'm really looking forward to the one coming up in Raleigh this summer, and I'm hoping to meet a lot of you there if I haven't met you already. Uh, besides my experience in the Esperanto movement, I've been really active in the labor movement in the past, uh, where I've learned a lot about how to nurture an active membership organization, build highly functional teams, and mentor uh, new generations of leaders, have a continual uh, influx of new leaders. I'm hopeful that after a few years, Esperanto USA will have many active committees and many people who are excited uh, and inspired to take on leadership roles in a variety of ways. Um, over the last couple of years, my Esperanto activity has been mostly focused uh, in a kind of literary direction, uh, reading, writing, and translating. Um, I've been fortunate enough to even have a couple of pieces published. And over the course of last year, basically from January to December, I took on a huge project to translate a diary that was written in the 1940s by a science fiction pioneer, uh, the guy who invented science fiction fanzines. Um, and he wrote, he, he was an activist Esperantist. He wrote his diary in Esperanto in the 40s. And there's someone uh, working on a biography of him and they needed the diary translated. So I did, basically took me uh, about 500 hours, but I finished it. Uh, one of the things that I got from it was I learned a lot about the American Esperanto movement in the past and how kind of vibrant of a movement it was. Uh, for example, they had 86 Esperantists in the Oklahoma Club. Um, the Zamenhof Banquet in New York City had 130 people. At the 1939 New York World's Fair, uh, we had Orlando Congreso, and there was a Esperanto Day at the World's Fair. So that had me thinking, well, there's been an active and vibrant movement in the past and maybe we've got uh, potential for that now um, and then the proof that uh, that that potential could be real for me came during the Lando Congreso in Montreal where we had a large number of American Esperantists working together discussing the future of our, of our movement and putting work into figuring out how to improve our movement uh, so I think that this really shows that there's a lot of American Esperantists who are excited to get involved and ready to work on interesting projects some of you may already know the podcast Usone Persone, which I'm a part of the team that produces. If you don't, uh, I recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, the inspiration for us came from those discussions. We wanted to create something that would be useful to American Esperantists and would also reinforce internationally that we do have an active movement in the US. So part of why I'm running for president and what I want to do uh, in the board is that I think Esperanto USA can play an important role in connecting American Esperantists and helping them to work, work together on projects and build a more dynamic movement. Um, traditionally, things have kind of flown through the board uh, and it's been kind of very centralized. I would like to decentralize that and make sure that connectors are, uh, members are able to connect with each other directly and also make sure that the board is providing a clear leadership by example, being very active and uh, engaging with the membership. Um, I take a lot of inspiration from the book the Starfish and the Spider, which explains how decentralized organizations can work well, especially if there's uh, a leadership that can play kind of a catalytic role. So I'm really hopeful uh, that Esperanto USA over the next couple of years will be able to continually attract new Esperantists and to bring back veterans who may have drifted away. If you're in one of those groups, I would uh, encourage and invite you to join up or, or rejoin now so that you can vote in the election. Um, and hopefully you'll see stuff you like over the next year and you will uh, renew your dues a year from now. Uh, thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to meeting as many of you as possible in Raleigh in July. Gistui and Esperantui.